fight right-handed with up, righty up top and lefty on the bottom and lead with left hands. I told Zab Judas this when he fought Spinks. I said, don't throw jabs, throw right left hands. The first fight, he didn't listen. The second fight, he did, and he knocked out yeah. Spinks. That's where you beat a southpaw if you're southpaw. You make it a little flow down. Well, check the rocket telling Alicia Ashley right now. Yeah. Pretty much just keep doing what she's doing. Don't let, don't let her build her confidence up probably. Uh, and now he's starting to go up the middle, I can see. Uh, of course, Elena Reed is actually bending down a little bit, it looks like. And uh, he's trying to just keep Alicia on focus. And you can see Alicia's confidence here. There you go, see Alicia moving. See, underneath, he's telling right there, that's why he's selling underneath the middle. When she, when she, when Elena Reed goes down, he wants to come underneath, okay, and then over the top. Round six of eight. It's been all Alicia Ashley so far. And she has That's not right won hand. via a knockout yet. She's always won on the judge's decision. The 10 victories have all been that way. Well, she's another one. I think, you know, she hits Elena Reed with a good left hand, and she don't take any chances, but she should finish up with the hook. She lands a good left hand, but she gets away from a position. And the rule is, once you land a good shot, you stay there in your spot and throw three more shots. Right. Instead, what Ashley's doing is she lands a good left hand, but she's stepping away, so she can't get a cleanup. That's why she probably has no knockouts. More than likely, I would say that's how she has no knockouts. It's called the cleanup. You land a good shot, you buckle them, and then you got to stay right there and throw three more shots, and you get your man out of there. Did you know that, Mia? I didn't know that, but that's good to know. <laughs> I'll give him Mia a bunch of information. Next fight, yeah. right? <laughs> I use that in my next one. Yeah, you creep a little bit slow. What happens is you land a good shot, you hurt him, buckle him, and you come back to the hook immediately, right away, and then right. big left hand again. But you know, I notice it's hard to do that. It's really hard to throw. I'll end up throwing a jab right, and, and I have a hard time following up with the hook. No, you know why? Because you got to do repetition in the gym. Do it in the gym consistently. Well, I can over do it in the gym. And over and over. <laughs> That's when I get in a real fight. You gotta relax. You gotta relax. You gotta have faith and believe. Oh, well, baby doll Reed trying to get back into this one. Yeah, well, she'll get in as much as Ashley allows her to get in. You know, um, Ashley right now is boxing great. She's staying relaxed. Uh, she has no worries on her head right now. And she's going downstairs to the body, which is something new that she's doing. Reed is missing. Reed is cut too. A big old cut on the right side of her face and. Uh, that changes dynamics right here again. Oh, baby doll Reed bloodied up. Yeah, now it's really, really getting exciting. And, uh, baby doll Reed looks like she's getting broke down right now, to tell you the truth. I think when a fighter gets cut, even if it's not a bad cut, I think it just destroys your confidence. It depends on who the fighter is. <laughs> I think it that's true, that's true. I think you, I've never been cut knocking with thank God and, and had a little time Nick, but any swelling I received, you see me, I think heat things up and knock guys out. This cut, uh, this cut, the way, was... Look at Gotti. Right. Yeah. Let's see if well, they Gotti's can catch a... the punch that caused this one. I think they try... Right there. Well, right there, that looks like right there. That might have, oh, oh that, maybe that one. No, that was after the cut, which was already, she already received the cut, so we got to see where exactly... Um, when this cut happened, was it a headbutt maybe? They were inside once in a while, but I don't think it was like Well, we were informed by the commission it was a punch. It was a punch, oh. So if it goes to the scorecards uh, and they stop the fight, that, uh, that's a scary thing. Do you feel that a cut me uh, changes dynamics of the fight, huh? It really does. I mean, I was cutting my last fight. 27 stitches, so. <laughs> oh, that, was, that wasn't a cut. That the was... problem is I didn't feel anything. <laughs> yeah. I feel that sometimes. I was ready to keep going. <laughs> a girl fighting, maybe it changes. I think if guys fighting, it's, it's a mucho macho thing. Some guys uh, fall victim to blood, as we say, Tim. And uh, some guys, it, it's just the fight just started. Right. With me, <laughs> I, I can think, see that. Yeah, with me, the fight just started. Thank God, <laughs> not going to worry. God doesn't allow me to bleed. Let me to swell, but not bleed. But uh, thank God. But um, I feel differently. I feel that when I see some blood, especially my own, you're in trouble. Yeah. Ashley trying to work the right side of the face of well, Elena Baby Doll Reed. Oh, that cut is yeah, severe she's right now. Taking advantage of that cut. Oh, that's just smart. That cut is severe. She's taking advantage of the opportunity. Mia, what would you do? In this, I mean, you had to cut 27 stitches. What would you do right now if that was you in the ring, Lana Reed, with a 27 stitch cut? What would happen? You know, I can't lie. I'd say I, I would be, I would be boxing more and trying to to keep my distance.
by a woman has 15, 16 professional fights in her first knockout of Elena Reed. I mean, this sent Ashley into the perils of uh, greatness now. I mean, what you, what you think about this? I mean, well, yeah, you know, like I said, I'm really surprised that Elena even took this fight. I mean, it, it was a tough fight, and but you know, she knew that, and she's a very courageous fighter. She loves to fight, and she loves a challenge. Do you oh. think that there'll be a rematch? I think they'll definitely rematch. Oh, how will we come back from this? I mean, she looks devastated from this loss. Um, she's cut, she's crying in the ring. I mean, here, could this have shattered her confidence? No, I think I, I think for now, uh, Elena's going to be upset, like every fighter would be. But I think she's going to bounce right back. She's, you know, she's a tough girl. She's got a lot of experience. She's got a lot going for her. Um, I don't think this is going to slow her down. But Mia, she took some beat. I mean, from I didn't give her one round. From round one to, to the round, they <laughs> stopped it. I mean, she was outboxed, outclassed, outhustled, outpunched, um, everything. Well, Alicia Ashley, her first career knockout, her 11th win. And Mark Biro, our ring announcer, has the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the time, one minute, four seconds of the seventh round. The referee stops the contest due to a cut over the right eye of the red corner. The winner by technical knockout, Slick. Alicia Ashley. Ashley. There Ashley go with her victory. Uh, uh, first knockout, career knockout, and, and not a bad person to stop in her first knockout. Lena Reed, who had 20 straight wins. Right. There's no shame in losing to Alicia Ashley. And like I said, she was, you know, she's norm she normally fights in a heavier weight category. So uh, it was a big step up and um, she did her best, you know. Why do you no think Elena Reed uh, took this this bout? Um, we have such a, a great fight here. I mean, uh, the, uh, just with that final thought. Well, I think that she she stepped up. She was very courageous, and and she wanted to stay busy. I just I think I would have picked a different opponent to stay busy. She's Alicia Ashley is not a stay busy kind of fighter. <laughs> there you got it from here, St. John. Let's go up to Tim. He's in the ring with Alicia. All right, Kevin, thank you very Ashley. much. We're with tonight's winner of the main event, Alicia Ashley, your first career knockout. You've won on points all the time. How's it feel to get a TKO? Um, feels good. <laughs> you look very confident there. And again, was it difficult to fight another southpaw? No, I really didn't notice. It's like two orthodox fighting. How about your trainer, Hector Roque? He got you ready for this. He's always been in my corner. He's the, been the very best trainer. I mean, right now, because of Million Dollar Baby, he's getting more recognition, but he's always been a great trainer. Who's a better fighter, Hector? Hillary Swank, the Academy Award winner who you trained, or Alicia Ashley? Well, right now, Hillary Swank, but we're going to get it. We're going too far. <laughs> Congratulations on this win. Okay, thank you. thank you. Alicia Ashley, the winner tonight of our main event. Well, let's go up to Tim. He's in the ring with Baby Doll Reed. Right, with Elena Baby Doll Reed, obviously an emotional moment, uh, unbeaten in your last 20 fights. Uh, tell us what was going through your mind out there. Um, she's a good fighter. I'm sad that it was stopped because of something like a cut, but uh, like I always say, that's boxing. And just have to get back in the gym and try even harder, work even harder. I'm still young, so we still have time. And all these fans, how could I stop? Talk about the cut. Cut, obviously, a big factor in the stoppage in the fight. Uh, tell us when that occurred. I'm sure uh, everyone will see it on tape. I'm not even sure. I was just thinking about fighting and going. I have no idea. Would you like to fight her again if she'll give you a rematch? Of course. Of course I'd love to fight at my national weight of 112, but we'll fight whoever, whenever we can. All right, Elena. I know you're going to bounce back. Thanks. Thanks. It's Elena Baby Dollree.